You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now, TSPN News with Tom Slavik. Comprehensive news because in today's world, you need more than just sound bites. TSPN, streaming on the World Wide Web, and now on demand at TSPNTV.com. Hello everyone, I'm Tom Slavik. Welcome to TSPN's News for today. We're going to delve right into the stories. Well, this is your opportunity to provide Caltrans and ACTC with feedback on the design concepts for State Route 88 Pine Grove Improvements Project. The California Department of Transportation, that's Caltrans, is the lead agency under the California Environmental Quality Act, CEQA, and the National Environmental Policy Act, NEPA, in cooperation with the Amador County Transportation Commission, ACTC, and they propose to modify State Route 88 through the town of Pine Grove in order to reduce congestion, improve operations, and enhance safety between the intersections at Climax Road and Taboo Road. You are invited to attend this public workshop for the State Route 88 Pine Grove Improvements Project. Representatives from Caltrans and ACTC will be present to provide project updates, discuss the realignment of the project design or the refinement of the project design, and get your feedback. There will be an open house beginning at 5.30 p.m., which will include maps, exhibits, graphics, and an opportunity for discussion with project representatives. A brief presentation will begin at 6 p.m. ACTC will then hold a workshop to present all of the project concepts to date and get your input. The meeting will be held in the Pine Grove Town Hall at 19889 Highway 88 in Pine Grove, California on Wednesday, December 12th at 5.30 p.m. And once again, the open house is at 5.30 p.m. The presentation begins at 6 p.m., followed by a workshop at 6.20. And the Amador County Technical Advisory Committee meeting will be held on Monday, December 10th at 10 a.m. in Conference Room A of the County Administrative Center, 810 Court Street, Jackson. The matter on the agenda for review and possible action is a request by George and Ray Charos. Graham Simmons was representing them for a variance from County Code Section 19.24.040 which requires a 25-foot front building setback to allow construction of an enclosed walkway from the existing dwelling through the front building setback into the road right-of-way to the edge of the pavement on Danburg Drive. The subject property is Lot 55, Kirkwood Meadows Unit 1, located on the west side of Danburg Drive. That's about 600 feet from its terminus in Kirkwood. Note, this variance, if granted, will also require the abandonment of a 25-foot public utility easement located along the front lot line, as noted on the subdivision map, and an encroachment permit for that portion of the enclosed walkway proposed and located within the right-of-way. And the TAC members will review the application for completeness prior to the acceptance, evaluate potential environmental impacts, propose conditional and mitigation measures, and make a project recommendation to the Planning Commission. ARSA and Sutter Creek Wastewater Master Plan Workshop is scheduled for Thursday, December 13th at 1.30 p.m. in the community building at 33 Church Street, Sutter Creek, on the agenda for discussion and possible action is the master plan update, the Amador Regional Sanitation Authority, and the City of Sutter Creek Sewer Committee will meet to review, discuss, and make recommendations on the draft November 26, 2012 wastewater master plan update as prepared by hydro science engineers. And the IBCA, I Own Business and Community Association, invites you to participate and strut your stuff. Entries are still needed for the annual Christmas parade down Main Street this Saturday at 11 a.m. If you have a cool car, get some friends who can wave and enter the parade. If you have pets, goats, or horses, dress them up and enter the parade. If you have friends, you have cute dogs, dress them up and enter the parade. If you just want to have fun and show off, dress funny and enter the parade. And if you have a business, remind everyone you are in business by being in the parade. Entry forms are available at Iowa City Hall or contact Bill 30 at bill67 at aol.com. Come one, come all, join the parade and celebrate the season in Iowa. I just want to remind everybody, too, that uh, there's awards being 
uh, given for the best of floats. First place, $200. Second place, $150. Third place, $100. Best of show for a youth group is $300. And the best of show business is a $200 donation, dollar donation to your favorite charity. Okay, and let's continue on. Find the spirit of Christmas at a beautiful historic Gold Rush town, says Lisa Kowalski, director of the Sutter Creek Visitor Center. Wonderfully lighted, historic Sutter Creek invites everyone to come to town for an old-fashioned Christmas open house on December 7th and 8th. On Friday, December 7th at 6 p.m., Santa and Mrs. Claus come down to Main Street to light the community tree and begin the festivities. A beautiful horse-drawn carriage will give free rides on Main Street. Father Christmas and Charles Dickens' characters stroll Main Street and music fills the air. And downtown merchants will keep their doors, doors open late with refreshments and goodies for all. There will be many activities for the children, including photos with Santa. Join us on Saturday, December 8th for entertainment, free carriage rides, and fun on Main Street. In the evening at 7 p.m. is the beautiful Las Posadas Candlelight Walk along historic Spanish Street and Main Street. Join Joseph and Mary along their trek to Bethlehem holding candles and singing carols. These free events will spark the Christmas spirit in everyone. And for more information, call Lisa at 267-1344 or visit at suttercreek.org. We don't have any slides, I think, of the weather today, but I think most of us, we know, we're expecting rain to hit later on this afternoon. And tomorrow we'll have more rain and possibly more rain after that. So uh, I hope you like the rain. When I come back, I'll be talking with Lori Webb, and Lori's the Executive Director of Amador Senior Services Center. We're going to find out what's going on for the seniors this holiday season and other things as well. So stay with us right here on TSPN's News.